going to stay with the theme of birds. <laughs> A little bit anyway. <laughs> Bean Blossom Blues Fest. Yeah. It's a really nice chap, a family, family harmonica business. All right, so Sierra Farrell and I have a few friends in common, especially down in New Orleans. And I used to busk down there with a great songwriter called Melissa Carper. Do we have any Melissa Carper fans yeah. here tonight? She has a great new album out called Daddy's Country Gold. And Melissa and I used to play down in New Orleans on Royal Street a lot and around town. And this is a song I wrote down there in New Orleans. It's called Night Blooming Jasmine. Brown's 
skin boy on a summer's night and the shelterless tiny flame all my kisses come down in New Orleans rain all my kisses come down children dancing for a life to grow up walk up dizzy morning after I'd like to hold up I'm no faith and if all can tell you don't belong to me so Laura rides a galloping horse she's hot on my heels she's a mighty force over the stage let her to a year, flaunting it all around town. Oh, forget it. Have mercy on love that was Sending a love smile, it carries the southern breeze, the night blooming jasmine and me. Oh, the night blooming jasmine. Oh, the night blooming jasmine. I often play with my band called the Maybells. We're based up in Brooklyn, New York City, as you can tell by my accent. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> I've actually been practicing saying this week, this is my new one. Lovo. <laughs> Thank you. My mum would be like, Janet, what's it like busking in New Orleans? <laughs> so I'm, try I'm trying, people. I'm trying. So actually, where I come from, Yorkshire, used to be a lot of coal mines. My granddad was down the mine all his life. I have an album here dedicated to him called Dream of the Miner's Child. And, um, but a lot of farms as well. And then the big city is like steel industry and stuff like that. I thought I'd take a chance and go super folky on you now. Would anybody object if I do a super folky song? Yeah. It was one of those what would Woody Guthrie do moments. I'm sure you all have those. <laughs> so there was a terrible thing happening back home in the British Isles. And the farmers were having to get rid of all their cows and all their sheep and everything. And I thought about that a lot in the last year because it turned out that the enemy they were fighting that was making all the animals sick was on the air. It was airborne, but they thought it was in the soil, so they really didn't need to kill all the animals, as it turned out. But, um, you know, everybody was saying, it's carried by the wind. It's carried by the wind. There's nothing you can do. So, in my what would Woody Guthrie do moment, I thought, well, he would pick up on what everybody says. So, not to be confused with the fabulous com comedy, A Mighty Wind, which I love. This song's called uh, Carried by the Wind. I am a farmer, where shall I begin? The 
took my cattle yesterday and it nearly did me in. Last year when it flooded we said sometimes you just can't win. What is this now? An act of God cause he's caring. But not winning, and all my bills are due. Carried by the wind, carried by the wind. But the wind is not my enemy, all said and done, and there ain't. This land passed down to me Since long ago when my ancestors Sailed across the sea And they were carried by the way Jack the Beanstalk companies And now the cloning age Farmer O'Brien He's been struggling for years His wife found him this morning And she cried a nation's tea And he's so his case from Weed Patch Music in Nashville, Indiana. Great little music store. Yeah. All right, this next song is called No Country. I remember there used to be, when I was on the road all the time, you're often just trying to find a decent radio station, you know? And there was one radio station that would always be like, no rap, no hip hop, and absolutely no country music. And I was like, well, that's interesting, bedfellows for once. So this is a song called No Country, and it's a, from a quote by Virginia Woolf. And the quote goes, um, as a woman, I have no country. As a woman, I want no country. As a woman, my country is, is the world. So, so here we go.
So the next song came about, it was one of those songs you write when you're a little bit hungover. <laughs> when I realised the word, well first I should ask, did anybody drive here in a Lincoln? Okay, when I get to that part in the song, it's not about you. <laughs> I just like the rhyme, it came up with this rhyme and I was like, I have to write a whole song now. So. This song's called Leaving Town. It's about a young woman. It's one of those songs, like I said, that wrote itself. And, um, well, she goes out and um, she, she survives to tell the tale. And you can imagine my friend Bob Hoffner playing the pedal steel like mad on this, if you like. Just begun. 
Tokyo mama's on the run, we're leaving town. They'll be watching over you get out of town Oh, no matter what you do They'll be watching over you Anybody here at the high five for the first time tonight? Oh, look at that. Look at that.
Dace on the sound doing an incredible job. Thank you, Dace. I'll do another one I wrote in New Orleans. We've talked about farmers and iron workers. Now this, this one's called Carpenter's Arms. Not to be confused with a pub in England, although I'm sure there is a very great pub called the Carpenter's Arms. Send this out to all the traveling folks. Sometimes you meet somebody in like little ships in the night. That's the first time I ever got that, like, ow! I'm going to do one, one more song for you guys. And John R. Miller's coming and then Sierra Farrell. Now, um, we'll do a little quiz before it. 
I love trivia. Some people like karaoke, I prefer quiz. <laughs> so, let's have a guess here. If you want to guess, what might the letters AP stand for? It's not AP Carter, it's not Apple Pie. Associated Press. Associated Press is a good idea, <clears throat> but a little highfalutin for my country songs. <laughs> Any other guesses, AP? Ass and pussy. Apple pie's good, what? Ass and pussy. Ass and... I'm not going to repeat that, it's a family show. He says something about a, a, an arse and a kitty cat. Okay, it stands for, hey D, wonderful D, the manager here. Block the doors so no one can escape because AP now stands for audience participation. <laughs> It's good to be silly, especially that was audience participation right there, saying boo. That's there you go, you're doing it. Um, so that the veil between the worlds is down in the Celtic Druids called this time of year Sawain. You know? And um, the veils between the worlds are down, so where I come from, you know, they tell you pay attention to who you meet now. Who crosses your path in this time? Because they may be somebody from the past or someone that's going to be important in the future. So it's a really special time of year. And of course it was a lot to do with harvest and sharing food and gathering and all of that. All right, so here we go. Audience participation. And in Gaelic, the word silly means blessed. So... I bless you. God bless you all with a little bit of being silly maybe in this song. <clears throat> all right, two, three, four. I go back, I go back, I go back. City boots, guitar on my back. I go back, country blues, country blues, country blues. Can't see the stars are shining. I feel like bursting loose. I see the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan too. I see the East River flowing, baby. Danny, you, Danny, you, Danny, you. I see the river flowing, baby. Dance with you. I see the Glacial Valley and the Indiana sky. I can hear the But it's all in my mind Still stuck in Brooklyn Two, three, four I go mad Cowgirl sister down in New Orleans When I say country blue She knows just what I mean What I mean What I mean Cowgirl sister Where Danny New Orleans I go mad If you haven't done it yet, two, three, four. I got my cowgirl hat, kick off my city boots. I'm gonna blow my stack right in some bulky boots.
yes, I must have made it all the way to Bean Blossom, Indiana, because I can hear them chickens talking. <laughs> oh no, oh no, what is that chasing that little chicken? Is it a cow? It's a cow a mooing. <laughs> all right, now I know that Indiana and the high fight is a very progressive place. So we don't have to stick to farmyard animals. It can be any animals. It could be an animal from the Sahara, from South America. It could be an extinct animal. So picture the animal sound you want to make in your mind. And remember, it's Halloween. The veils between the worlds are open. And we're going to do a freestyle. I can hear them animals in Indiana. You guys do not need any encouragement. Yeah.